my beautiful Geekables. The Walking Dead has come to a close and it has ended, which is what come to a close meant. Um, in case you weren't following, <laughs> I'm cracking myself up today. Um, I watched The Walking Dead and when it got to the certain season where I lost a very, very important character to in my world and one that I was my favorite, I wasn't as invested in the show anymore. But I came across Skybound and Skybound is the Skybound rundown and they do recaps. They did a recap of all of the seasons of The Walking Dead and I think they're absolutely hilarious. So I'm, I'm watching them all and I would like you to watch them with me. We've already done um, the season one full recap with the Skybound rundown and this is the season two full recap. So I figure we should just jump right into it. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. The gang is back. Rick's group of survivors were able to escape Atlanta. But what will they face in season two? We're here to break that down for you. I'm Ian Start. And I'm Brian Mitchell. And this is The Skybound Run. The Run Now. The hell are you? Rick messages to Morgan one last time. They're heading to Fort Benning and leaving Atlanta for good. Goodbye, Morgan. The caravan runs into some traffic. Honk, honk. The RV breaks down, so they scavenge the area. Uh-oh. A horde of walkers! Everyone hides! However they can. The horde passes, but stragglers <laughs> notice Sophia, who runs into the woods. She goes missing. Rick and Daryl can't Sophia. find her, and will resume in the morning. Shane reveals to Lori that he plans to leave during the night, undetected. She doesn't care, right? The search party heads out. The rescue team finds a church, but no Sophia. Rick and Shane stay back with Carl to search some more. The trio comes across a deer. Yeah, this oh, was bad. What the That's the first time uh, Carl got shot. Flashback. Enter Shane as we find out that this is the moment Lori and Carl are informed that Rick has been shot. <gasps> and back to reality. Rick and Shane run through a field with bloody Carl. Wait, who's that guy? Who's that, that must guy? be Otis, the man who shot Carl. <laughs> you rat bastard. You rat he bastard? Rick to head to a farm where he meets Dr. Herschel and his family. Maggie, Patricia, Beth, and Jimmy. Turns out Carl needs extensive surgery and Herschel doesn't have all the supplies. Otis and Shane are then sent to a nearby high school to gather the medical equipment necessary. Hold on just a little longer, Carl. Back with the others, T-Dog desperately needs antibiotics and Daryl is the only one staying positive in the search for Sophia. Are the only ones sent around here? Good lord. While searching, Andrea once again proves her combat prowess. <sighs> Andrea really was and Maggie was comes no to take help Lori to for the farm. Time. Meanwhile, Shane and Otis arrive at the high school, but are up to their necks in walkers. While Shane and Otis devise a plan to escape, Daryl and Andrea go searching for Sophia. Glenn arrives at the farm with T-Dog, who Glenn. gets fixed up. Maggie hits on Glenn, who's too naive to get the gist. You got this, Glenn. Hooray, Carl's awake. But he's not looking too good. No. Just before Carl's outcome looks donezo, Shane arrives. But Otis is nowhere to be found. Herschel yeah. operates, and Carl is stated. And it. flashback. God That's damn why it, Shane. didn't make it. Now that the rest of the God gang has arrived Shane. at the farm, it's funeral time. Oh, Otis, no! The crew is asked to surrender all of their weapons except for one rifleman on lookout. Now that they've all settled in, it's time to hydrate. Or not. I remember that guy. Naturally, they send Glenn down the well to lasso up the walker. After a narrow escape, they get at least half of it out. Ugh. Ugh. Looks like someone took a spill. <laughs> Glenn and Maggie are sent to the pharmacy to find Ooh, antibiotics great. and make some sex. You got it, Glenn. Mix. Meanwhile, in the search for Sophia, Daryl finds evidence that she sought refuge in an empty building. And later that night, Lori takes a pregnancy test. Shane is starting to crack and is openly expressing starting? his distaste for Rick's leadership. Whoa, a snake! Daryl is thrown from his horse and falls into a creek. Before he blacks out, he finds Sophia's doll in the water. Merle appears and motivates him to keep moving, using his sweet, sweet talking skills. Get up on your feet before I have to kick your teeth in. <laughs> but wait, that's not Merle. That's not Merle. He kills the walkers and climbs out of the creek. He stumbles into the meadow, and the gang thinks he's a walker. Andrea fires before she can tell it's Daryl, who gets grazed in the head. T-Dog yeah, notices the doll, him. and the group is amazed. Daryl rests <laughs> up, everything's going well, until Glenn and Maggie decide to have sex. He's getting it again. <laughs> Glenn suggests meeting at the barn, and Maggie runs out to stop him, but it's too late, and he uncovers Herschel's secret. Yeah. So he doesn't get it. After Glenn's discovery of the barn, Patricia feeds the trapped walkers a few chickens. Let's hold hands together and have a moment for these chickens. 
Andrea apologizes to Daryl. Hey, sorry for shooting you. And Glenn tries to help Lori keep her baby secret. Glenn is the ultimate trapper keeper. Until he spills <laughs> all the secrets to Dale, who <laughs> then confronts Herschel about the barn, and then Lori about the baby. Dale goes for the turkey and gets in Shane's face about killing Otis. Afterwards, while fetching supplies for Lori at the pharmacy, Glenn and Maggie get attacked, but no one's hurt. Now that Carl has recovered from his bullet wound, let's give that boy a gun, <laughs> as Rick and Shane take some of the crew for shooting practice. Following this, Shane and Andrea go look for Sophia and get attacked. But Andrea holds her own. And finally, finally. Lori tells Rick about her pregnancy and the affair with Shane. God damn it, Shane. <laughs> breakfast time, breakfast time, breakfast time. Barn's full of walkers. Say what? Shane's had <laughs> enough and calls for the group to leave. But Rick reveals to Shane that Lori is pregnant. Oh, congratulations. Oh, thanks. Maggie's been angry with Glenn for spilling the beans on the barn. But Glenn sets the story straight. He wants to keep her safe. And he's back to get him. <laughs> Lori tells Shane to back off. The baby's Rick's. Herschel, who seems to be changing his mind, asks Rick for help in getting new walkers into the barn. Shane is not happy no. about Rick and Herschel's little rescue and shows Herschel what these things really are. Oh, we're just gonna repeat that. Oh, that was repeating. Okay. He busts down the barn door and the group shoots yeah. every last one of them. Or so they think. <laughs> Holy fuck! Rick steps forward and does what needs to be done. While the others clean up the mess, Herschel leaves the farm to drink away his sorrows. When Rick and Glenn finally find him, they're able to convince him that it's time to focus on the living. Rick, Glenn, and Herschel are about to leave when two unexpected visitors arrive. We find out that they're not alone them. and are seeking refuge for the rest of their group. You'll have to keep looking. The two don't seem to be taking no for an answer and... <laughs> Meanwhile, I really forgot about concerned them. Lori drives off to find the three. And, and yeah. That the trio happened. find themselves in a gunfight. After a close encounter, Glenn barely gets to the car with Rick and Herschel. A walker horde closes in, and the enemy retreats. I gotta go! I'm sorry! One of their guys falls, and a post stabs him through the leg. Rick yeah. valiantly saves his ass. Now I remember that. After Lori people. escapes her car and a hungry walker, Shane finds her walking in the road. He tells her Rick and the others have made it home safe. Liar, liar, his pants seem to be on fire. <laughs> Lori soon finds out, but that doesn't stop Shane from telling her that he his loves her and that they should fire. finally be his, not Rick's. Oh, snap. The trio gets back in the morning, but with a guest. It's Randall. Shane is once again let down by Rick. To make matters worse, Lori tells Rick what Shane had said earlier, along with a few more thoughts. He's dangerous, Rick, and he won't stop. <sighs> ah, Lori, Lori, Lori. Now that Rick's all hot and bothered, he and Shane have a talk <laughs> far away from the farm. Now, Lori says you're dangerous, but you're not gonna be dangerous. Not anymore. Not they then anymore. continue to drive, looking for a decent place to drop off Randall. Once they find out that Randall knows Maggie, Rick needs a night to decide what to do with him. After Shane questions Rick's leadership again, Battle Royale. <laughs> Quit monkeying around, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Probably should have done that. Walkers! Rick finagles his way out and saves Shane. They then drive back to the barn to contemplate Randall's fate. With a name like Randall, he can't be that dangerous. Back with the others, Beth tries to commit suicide and Andrea enables her, much to Maggie's chagrin. <laughs> Daryl asks Randall some nice, easy questions, where he learns about his large group of savage men. Rick finally agrees with Shane. They have to eliminate Randall, who's become a serious threat to the group. Dale is furious and asks for the rest of the day to convince the majority that this is inhumane. After being a fucking brat and stealing Daryl's <laughs> gun and running off, Carl finds a walker in the woods, and it's stuck in the mud. Piece of cake. Until Carl trips and the walker pulls itself out of the mud and almost gets him. He says after being a fucking brat. The group takes a vote. Randall must die. Dale is more furious. Rick heads to the barn with Shane and Daryl. Right before he's about to blast through some Randall brains, Carl walks in. Do it, Dad. Do it. Jesus, Carl. Rick Jesus hesitates Carl. and backs out. Now Shane is furious. Dale takes a night walk to get rid of all the furiousness, and he gets ripped apart by the walker so that Carl let go. That. And another one bites the dust. Daryl puts him down. Sorry, brother. And Carl cries because he knows he fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone seems really sad. 
especially Shane. <laughs> God damn it, Shane. Carl tells Shane about taking Daryl's gun and inadvertently leading the walker to the farm. He then damn tells Rick Shane. about this, who makes Carl take the gun for protection. In other Shane news, Lori breaks down and apologizes to Shane for everything that has happened. Uh, can we get a Rick punch, please? <laughs> Shane then breaks Randall out of the barn and leads him into the woods. It seems like he's going to join Randall's group, but then he snaps. <laughs> Shane then emerges from the trees, telling the group that Randall hit him and ran. Rick, Shane, Daryl, and Glenn go into the woods to find Randall. They split up. Daryl and Glenn find Walker Randall, whose neck was broken but was never bit. Shane's real intentions come into light, to kill Rick. After he tries to dissuade Shane, he's left with no choice but to use his knife. In comes Carl, tearing up at what he's witnessed, points his gun at Rick. Shane's body reanimates, walking towards the two when... Rick and Carl notice the impending horde of walkers and make a run for the barn. They lure a bunch of them in there and light them all on fire. Yep. Rick light them is on fire. On fire. No, he's, he's not. Fire. The walkers are. Just saying, he's doing really well. He's doing the group at the house well. notices. Jimmy rushes the RV to Rick and Carl, who jump down and make their escape. Goodbye, Jimbo. Lori freaks out. Carl isn't in his room. Ah! What a great mom. Herschel, Daryl, and Glenn <laughs> hold them off so the group can make their escape. Patricia gets taken away by the evil demons. Daryl saves Carol and the group drives off to safety, but without Andrea, who is stranded. She escapes, but is saved by a hooded figure. Yes. Who could that be? The rest of the group meets up at the highway, and Rick reveals to Lori and the group why Shane didn't make it. They are appalled, but Rick lays down the law. This isn't a democracy anymore. The Rictatorship is The Rictatorship. Born. What is that weird place in the distance? Why is Rick starting to be a dick? Why can't Lori relax? What's going to happen to the group? And chill. We'll find out soon enough in next week's recap of season three. Whew. Come back next Monday to get caught up to the Love halfway it. point of AMC's The Love it. Love it. Oh, Skybound, you have a subscriber in me. I love the Skybound rundown, and they do every one of these. So we're going to, I'm just going to recap. I'm just going to have to watch all of them. I am. I'm going to have to because I love them. He's got damn it, Shane. He says, Lori, she's a great mom. <laughs> because these are the things we I know we were all thinking, but none of us were saying it, or we might have been saying it in the comfort of our own homes. But they said it here, and it's hilarious. It is comedic gold to me. Love it. I absolutely love it. All right, my beautiful geekles, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, follow along, and I'll see you guys next time.